Hello everybody, it's Soleil. Today I have something very different. Now, as you guys can see, I have made something to do with Halloween. If you guys have been following me, I have never done Halloween crafting before. The only time I ever, ever gave it a go was when last year, Crafting with Fury Diane had an ATC challenge with a Halloween theme. I super wanted to enter her challenge, so I had to give myself a go at doing a Halloween ATC last year. And that was it. I never ever touched anything to do with Halloween ever again after that. However, in one of my mails from Letty, Letty had sent me this pocket letter last year and she had also filled the back with some Halloween goodies like a bit of stickers and washi tapes and sequin mixes like this that she had used in her pocket letter and she had also included some twine and Halloween colors and I have kept them all in a zip bag in a separate zip bag so I could actually keep this pocket letter as is in my big fat folder and you guys have seen that big fat folder so that was from Letty and she had inspired me while well, she was trying to inspire me to do Halloween crafting. So she had sent me some goodies in the pockets. So I have kept everything and then I got it out not long ago and then I looked through everything and I told myself that I need to challenge myself and try to do some Halloween crafting. And also I need to tell you guys this, if you guys post on Instagram or YouTube any crafting that's got to do with skulls or scary Halloween type of things, I might not be able to comment very well. So just a bit of a warning there for you. If you, if you don't see my comment in your YouTube or Instagram post where you have made something with scary type of Halloween goodies, that's because I truly don't know how to react to it. So please excuse me for that. But I am all for the cute, pretty Halloween. Anything cute, anything pretty, anything not scary, anything that sweet treats fun, I am into. So with the papers that Letty has sent me, I decided to go through all the cutter parts that she sent me and found a piece to work on. And so this one was the one that says, Welcome My Witchies. It says, Welcome My Witchies. And it was a three by four cut apart piece. And I decided to go ahead and select the colors from this paper and work with the pieces that I had. So this was a sticker that Letty sent me. This was an um, image that was on one of the uh, cut apart sheet that I had fussy cut out. So I put it behind this black cat. And this um, frame here, this chipboard frame here is actually from one of the Maggie Holmes collection. So I had used that to add like a, a photo frame kind of thing to hold my sequin mix with the tool. And Letty had also sent me the uh, one of the washi tape with the witchy um, legs. So I thought I better use that as a border underneath the frame. And also these tiny spiders with the gems, they actually were um, bought by me last year. After the Halloween was over, Spotlight had a um, item clearance sale and some of these um, stickers were on a real uh, low price clearance. So I thought, oh, maybe I'll grab one just in case I do something, something to do with Halloween in 2020. So that's how I that's how I got those. And then this bat here, this adorable bat, was actually from a craft kit that I bought for my boys last year. Be, although we don't really celebrate Halloween or decorate Halloween in this house, I thought it would be fun to create this really adorable bat foam. It's a foam sticker activity. So I bought this pack from a shop called Lincraft here in Australia last year. And I had kept the remaining of the packages in my box with the Letty's paper. And so they all came handy in creating this piece. So I am going to send this out to someone who does like Halloween. So <laughs> I am excited for that, but I'm also going to give um, some more paper crafting it with the Halloween theme and make a couple more goodies and send it out together. So this is my very first Halloween paper crafting I did this year. So I, 
I'm very um, happy with the way it turned out. There have been some mistake with the um, adding the sequins. Like I could have done a little bit of a better job in stitching too, but I really, really like the way this has turned out and I really wanted to share with you guys. So I hope you like it. And then I also, you know how I've been making lots of bead dangles, right? As you can see, I've gone mad. <laughs> well, I decided to do some Halloween color bead dangles as well. So this is what I did. I used the black and white stripe candy beads from BB Craft. I have also added some of these um, bead spaces using the gold colors and the orange heart that I bought off eBay. This one has that um, star one that I bought from Spotlight and the iridescent one that I got from eBay and the pearls come from the BB Craft, the glass crystal pearls. This one is a um, little bit more precious. This is a heart bead and this is the only one I have but I used it because I enjoyed the process of making things with the things that I truly love and I don't save. I do. It's hard for me to not use good things. So oopsie. And then, so I've used the frosted glass and some iridescent orange ones with the black and white stripe and I really love the way this looks. So pretty. So those are the three Halloween bead dangles that I have made. So that's it. But this is not the end of the video, guys. I was super, super excited that I was able to achieve this this thing that I made. And I said to myself, maybe I will give it a go. So I went online, I looked at the Spotlight website, I drink some water, and guess what? It was like it was all meant to be because Spotlight had a sale. So I looked at the Halloween range of goodies that they had, and I actually bought some Halloween paper pad. I was so shocked that they actually had some really cute ones. So the first one I got was Booyah. It's from a DCWV. And I absolutely love this paper pad so very much. Not because it's Halloween. I'm more excited about the, the glittery accents and the color combinations in this paper pad and the images are just so adorable. So I will show it to you guys. As I love all of these bottles. It's really, really nice. And even the skull is very, very cute looking. It's not like so scary looking. So this one I really like. And the background, the pattern paper is amazing. And look at this glittery magic. So beautiful. And honestly, just because it's orange and black doesn't mean I have to use it for Halloween. I can actually use this throughout my other projects as well. This has some bats. Cute bats. And gorgeous Halloween pumpkins. Some writing at the back. And this is a black kitty cat. And I have several friends who are crafty and who love their kitty cats. And this just totally reminds me of Beth's black cat. I love the patterns here. Look at all this glittery magic. And this is really cute monster page. More bats, pattern paper, witch's hat. Love the sparkle stripes. I really, really think this ghost is so cute with all of these sweet treats. And this one, really adorable. And I love this. Look at this. Look at the sparkle magic spider web. So nice and really adorable spider. And my boys, they love spiders. Like in Australia, you have to get used to spiders because we have spiders around. See this adorable cat and the pumpkin? So then, then it repeats. So that's one I got. It's called Booyah from DCWV. And I had to get some spiders for my boys and they already took some. And I also found the one that's large. So there was another um, pack like this that had two large spiders. So they already got that one. And look at the iridescentness on the here. So nice. So I got that. And then I had to get this one. It's called Pets and Pumpkins. 
I don't have any pets and I don't intend on getting any pets because I'm allergic, I'm super allergic to dog dandies, bird feathers and cat dandies and stuff. So, but all of the images in this paper pad just totally reminded me of my crafty friends on YouTube and Instagram. And I thought that while I use this paper pad to create, it will remind me of my friends that I've got to know in the past year, because it's my YouTube one year anniversary on the 21st of September. And so I am going to have extra special moment creating with this paper. So this paper pad is a 12 by 12 size and it was a bargain price. Like to buy a large paper pad, I think I, this was, um, okay, this one wasn't a real bargain bargain because this one was $20, but there was another paper pad that I got that was $16, which is unusual price. So I had to grab it. So this one has all the dogs and cats and bunnies and I love bunny images. See this bunny, oh, I don't know if I can show it to you guys properly. See this bunny image here? I love the bunny. And as you can see, it's got the cute kitty cat, the dog, another kitty cat here and it's got like really great size cut apart pieces. How am I gonna show you like this properly? But anyway, I'll show you the front side and then I'll show you the back side. But look at all of these fun dressed up pets. They're just so cute. And for me, I have realized that I love coordinating colors. I love working with many different types of colors. And it doesn't have to be... I'm not really loving this paper pad because it's a Halloween theme. I really love it so much because of the colors that are in it and the images are just so cute. So there's that and it also kind of reminds me of a doodle bug design one but I am not I, d I decided I won't get that because it's just too pricey and look at this one look at this holographic magic you guys know I love sparkle iridescent magic and this paper pad has many holographic accent it's just amazing look at this purple look at that Can you see that that's just magical I'll show you this side first and then I'll show you the other side. I love sweet treat images so much. I love the colors. And actually my kids want me to make Halloween banner to put up on the wall this year. So I'm gonna do that. And more adorable images. And this one is not my favorite, but I can use that for background paper. This is another adorable pet world all dressed up and this is a nice spider web and look at this one look at the bunnies aren't they just adorable i love bunnies so much and this one has adorable spider with the holographic spider web it is just so magical who would have thought that i'll be buying halloween paper <laughs> honestly look at this it's adorable i Honestly, if Halloween was like all cuteness like this, I would really love Halloween. And look at this. It reminds me of Batman movie. My kids like that too. And this one, although it's kind of like skull showing image, but it's not really. It's just cute image here. So that's that. And then here is this holographic magic again. Like, oh my gosh. Now I'm gonna flip it over and show you the other side, okay? So this is like all the fussy cutting I can do. You guys know I can do fussy cutting. So this is a back, nice background paper. Adorable, adorable. And then like this. This doggy. Oh, this is a nice one too. That's really nice. I really like that. Spider web. Oh, look at all these cute little tiny images. Doggy paw prints. Stripe. Really nice color. I mean, that could be just used for autumn as well. Really, this could be used for autumn as well. Just because it's got these candy corns on it doesn't mean I have to stick with just Halloween. I can mix and match with any type of paper available. And this is just so cute, isn't it? Oh my gosh. So you guys know now how excited I am to have found things 
on the website. I am just super, super happy about this. Now, I did get another one, like I did mention. This was on sale for $16, and that is amazing price for Australians to pay for a 12 by 12 paperback, okay? So I am super happy that I had, could buy this. This one is called Hey Pumpkin from Crate Paper. I have been looking at this paper pad for a while, and I said to myself, I'm not sure if I'm going to be creating anything with Halloween or not this year. Even though I did say that I might want to try, but I still wasn't really convinced. But this paper pad kept on popping up in my mind over and over and over and over again that I, and then when Spotlight had things on sale on the website, I was like, yep, it's meant to be. You just have to get it. So I got it. So this one has 48 papers in here. Again, the color combination is just amazing, I thought. This is one-sided paper, and it's got some great size tag pieces, cut apart pieces. I really, really love these characters here. They are very, very adorable. This paper can be used for Christmas even. Really nice spider web, full theme, adorable ghost. Another background paper that can be used for any time of the year, even for birthdays. This is a really nice candy corn page. And I really love papers that have some vintage feel, but it's modern design. Really love the houses. I can even fussy cut all the houses and not use it for Halloween. This, is, this could be good for birthday cards too. Kitty cat, more pattern paper. Like this paper pad has a lot more pattern paper, background papers that I can use throughout the year. And I really love all of these like nice fun sentiments. Look at this. Really, really nice. So then that's the repeat. So this for $16 in Australia is amazing. Okay, this video might be a little bit long, but I really want to share what I've been up to. So, yes. Oh, was it yesterday? Oh, recently, I have purchased the, um, what is it called? Maggie Holmes Magical Forest AC Digital Images. So, I have been fussy cutting them, okay? And then I had a vellum paper, so I printed some on vellum as well. But my vellum paper was really funny. It printed really nicely on half of the vellum paper, and then the rest of it was all smudged. I don't know what happened, but that's what happened. See? Look. Anyway, I will give it another go and try again. See, like, look. This one was printed so nicely. Look at that. It's printed so nicely. Like, even this one, too, really printed nicely. Then, towards the bottom of it, it started doing this. Anyway, so I have been fussy cutting the Magical Forest. I, at first, when Magical Forest was introduced, I wasn't too convinced. But the more I looked at it, the more I fell in love with the colors. At first, like the colors, I was thinking, they're a bit dull and not exciting. But then I kind of, the more and more I looked at it, I kind of started to understand why they use these warm colors. It just brings so much peacefulness and harmony and stuff like that. So that's what it was. So I'm really excited to use these. Um, I probably will be making journals with this range, I'm thinking. I really, really love the cute foxes and the cute bunny. I think it was the bunny that got me. So, yeah. So, I did not buy the, um, the actual printed paper pad for the Magical Forest. I bought the entire collection of the Magical Forest from the AC Digital website. So, I can print papers as well. So, I did print some paper. And so, this one I did well. Like, I printed on the um, A4 paper and it was just fine. I didn't print on the other side. But I don't know what happened when I try to print the next lot of papers. I printed on both sides. So it became a double-sided paper. But I'm still happy. Like, I might use half on a one page and the other half for something else. But I really like the um, colors that are involved and the, the storytelling that's involved in this collection. I really, really adore. My husband just arrived, so he might say hello because he probably doesn't know I'm doing a video. So, 
Hi, I'm doing video. <laughs> anyway, so it's okay. Um, so I've done that, and then remember how I told you that these all these paper pads were on sale, and then I this was on sale as well for eight dollars, and I just could not believe what I was seeing. Like the website said it was eight dollars, and I was like, are they sure it's really eight dollars? Because six by eight paper pads, I have to normally pay like eleven ninety five if it's a good price or. It, it, it's never under $10 for 6x8 paper pad, but this was $8, so I had to get it purely because I had the I had bought the AC Digital of the Magical Forest, and the color schemes of that one totally goes nicely with this one. So I'll do a quick flip because you guys probably all have seen it. This is my first time seeing it. I just, oh, when I saw the, opened the sticker bit off and saw the front page, I was like, yeah, I think I did the right thing, spending $8 to buy this. So, yeah, it goes really nicely with that magical forest. Oh, I love that so much. Oh, gosh, I think I need a 12 by 12 of that one. Anyway, I love the bows. I love the bunny. It's always the bunny that gets me, I think. And I love the foiling. You know I love all the gold foils, the pinks, and the florals. Oh, this one's so pretty. <laughs> so, so pretty. So, I, oh, I love this one. Really, really nice. This is really nice paper. I really like it. Yep, so I am going to be mixing this one with my digital images and creating with that. More water. And I also found this. This one, it says, it's a Recollections. I'm thinking this is an American company, but anyway, Spotlight sells these. And this is a rainbow color one. And on the online, it looked much more brighter, but it wasn't. But I still really like it. So this is like the heart page. This has like got some glittery effect. Let's see if I can get it closer. on. You see? And then some stars. Like really nice stars. Maybe I'll do it this way so it's a bit closer. So it's got the stars and it's got glitter on here as well on the stars. So it's really, really nice. And then there's this triangular one. Really good for pattern paper. I moved my water. I really like this heart page. This is really nice. This is all glittered. So I'll probably die cut with this page. And this one is actually got the, um, it's already been cut, so you just have to pop it out. So it's really nice images there. So I'll try to show you guys like this. It's really, really nice rainbow happy theme. So I'm really happy I found this one. And this one's a spotty dotty one, but it's all glittered as well. And this is like a washi tape being all stuck on the paper. Really nice hearts and more glittery stripe rainbow page. And this is another wonderful, wonderful cut apart page. I really love the images in this one. Super, super nice. And there's two of it. And look at this cloudy page. And this rainbow, some are not glittered, some have glittery accent. And then this one is really nice. The bottom of this paper pad is a little bit damaged, but that's totally okay by me. I can work around it. And this is a nice one. Maybe I could add some characters onto this page and frame it maybe and hang it up so that my children can be happy looking at it. This is a uh, wavy page. And this one is like a, almost like a paint splatter page. Really like that too. I just love the color schemes in here. I thought it was gonna be a bit more brighter, but it's not, but it's still, I love the way it, it is. Really, really love it. This is a nice one, nice background one. Some stars, and I can actually incorporate even this in with the magical forest too, I'm thinking. So that's that's all the paper pads. So I did go a little bit, I, I normally don't buy that many paper pads in one order, but I did this time because they were on sale. And I also found these. 
This one is for Christmas. So this one has like the sparkle yarn throughout the iridescent yarn. It's like totally Christmassy. This one is a pretty pastel one. This could so go with that new sugar cookie collection. I don't have that paper pack, but it is in my head and it's like telling me that I need to do something about it, but I don't know. I really don't know. I looked at the um, six by eight paper pad price on my um, website that I normally go by and it was $18. So I'm really thinking, is it really worth $18? You know, that's how my brain works. But this is really, really nice. And this one, it was a really fun pop of color. It, it just totally reminded me of Bright Happy Candies. So I had to just get it. So that's what I've got. So thank you so much for listening to me going on and on about all these exciting products that I got. And please let me know what you think of my first Halloween paper crafting I did. Thank you so much, everyone. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye.